it's uh, November 19th. Yeah, we're uh, we're in Cusco, Peru, and uh, we've had a couple of uh, kind of shitty days here getting uh, getting up to Peru, up to Cusco. Uh, we started. We were we were down in Lima. We got a couple of repairs done on the bikes, changed some tires, and uh, then we rode down to Nazca. We were still in Nazca Lions, uh, Lions, and they were pretty neat. <coughs> And, uh, but unfortunately, we were sleeping there. We were just sleeping on the floor of a couch surf, which was fine, but my air mattress had a couple holes in it, so didn't sleep too well for a couple of days. And then uh, from there, we left and we rode towards Cusco. We got about halfway. And uh, on that ride, I was feeling quite ill. I had a pretty, pretty bad uh, tummy ache. I was not feeling so good, so I wasn't eating a lot. <clears throat> Felt a little bit constipated. So that wasn't, uh, I wasn't feeling fantastic. And then uh, that night got a, got a quite a high fever of 39 degrees and uh, just you know sweating buckets and not feeling fantastic. So the next day we were, <clears throat> which was yesterday, the plan was to go to, to Cusco. In the morning I, I didn't really uh, feel like getting out of bed at all and standing up I was a bit dizzy. But by about 11 uh, I got up, had a shower and figured, well, if I can walk, I can ride. So, so we loaded up and, and head for Cusco. About uh, 10 minutes down the road, Hit a uh, vado, which is a like a over-the-road drainage ditch where water uh, runs across the road, and it was in a bit of a curve, and uh, so it was going a little too fast for those conditions. And uh, back tire slid out. We wobbled for a little while down the road, and then uh, crashed pretty hard, going about 90k an hour. So uh, we're walking, we're talking. Nothing's broken. We lost some skin, but uh, in general. This is, uh, this is the remains of, of my bike. And so this is our tent that was strapped up front. The bag is pretty torn up, but fortunately the bag took the front of it because there's only a couple holes in the rest of the tent. And they'll be repairable with the repair kit that we've got. Uh, this is my top box that got torn off, a little bit uh, scratched up, and I think the, the closing mechanism is broken, so. That, that might be the end of the top box. My puka packs, my $4 puka packs from Nicaragua. They tore up a little bit, but uh, I, don't know, I might be able to sell those again. And then we've got uh, Kelly's, <laughs> Kelly's Angry Bird shirt that is a little bit extra angry, extra angry now. Uh, her helmet's fine. Her gloves saved her hands pretty well. They're, uh, they're pretty torn up. She's got a slight abrasion on her hand. From, from the inside of the glove, but uh, in general, not too bad. So, you know, hey, gear works. So, another couple tears on this guy. Um, then, then we get to my gear. It's my helmet, uh, pretty scratched up, but the foam inside isn't too cracked, so this is more from sliding on the road. Um, <coughs> my knees, the, uh, the armor did its job. I barely got, barely got an abrasion on the end of my knee there. And, uh, up here at the hip, uh, my pants actually came off a little bit, I think. <laughs> so I got an abrasion uh, where it's been torn there. Uh, this is my belt that I was wearing, and that that saved my, my hip a little bit. I do have a little bit of a wound where it tore through my pants here. And uh, I got an abrasion under there. It's about the size of that bandage. Um, and uh, from where it wore through my gloves and my knuckles, where just from the inside of the gloves. My gloves didn't actually get torn up too badly. And then my elbow, also from rubbing on the inside of my jacket. The jacket, I'm pretty messed up. Uh, on the shoulder where I came down fairly hard. And uh, so it's a little bit worse for wear, but otherwise, you know, the gear worked. And this is Kelly's where her elbows got torn up, but her elbows are pretty much scar free. She got a bit of a sore left arm. Uh, is it able to show some of your wounds here, Kelly? Panty shot. And panty shot. <laughs> so, just got some. My jacket was open because yeah. it was hot. Yeah, the one know. time that I opened my jacket. The one time. So she got those, and then uh, her knees from where it's just uh, braided a little bit through the through the jeans. And now the bike. Oh, jugs! What have I done to you? Um, the the front fairing had to come off to be able to turn the steering because it got a little bit bent out of shape, but we'll be able to reinstall that. This here is the door to the air box, which popped off over here. 
So the air box is a little bit messed up. Uh, it's got crushed in up at the top here. And uh, of course the door is broken off and broken here now. But uh, a little bit of five minute epoxy and some time I might be able to pull that out. And that broke from my well, uh, right box here that you can see is slightly out of shape. And it's got bent in uh, quite firmly. And uh, that, that's what broke the door off. It's also bent in here. I don't know if you can see it very well, but the, the muffler's been pushed right in. It's got a nice little wave going on here from where that's been, uh, that's been broken. And uh, this is my new weld that I got done a couple, about a week ago in uh, Canyon del Pato, and it's held up really strong after all this. The box itself, pretty good hole in it here now, and everything's been crushed in. Um, top box tore off, and uh, the bike must have gone upside down there. And uh, we can see here my gauges so close to hitting the 100,000, flipping over, only another 600k, and it would have made it. But uh, I think my dial might be a little bit messed up. Lost the uh, right mirror and scratch up this. Still have the milk jugs. You can see the milk jugs are still standing up just fine. A little bit of a scratch up on the uh, on the shift and the clutch lever. Uh, this is my bag here. It got a little bit roughed up as well, so that's sort of the indication that our bike flipped at some point. Uh, a couple scratches down on the outside of the crash bar down below. And uh, so I think it hit something hard there. And that's about it. The front ends, yeah, up top is a little bit messed up. The light still works. Um, the, the gauges still seem to work. One thing we haven't tried yet is trying to start it. So I'm going to get the camera to jam. And we're going to. Should I make their music? <laughs> yeah, so, so <laughs> some music would be great. Uh, so we'll see, we'll see if we've got even a chance for this here. KLR lives on. Can't kill it. Can't kill it. So that's kind of nice. That's that's nice. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the story of the last couple of days. Kind of, you know, if you can walk, you can't necessarily ride. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna be in Cusco for a little while and we'll get all this stuff sorted out and uh, go from there. All right. Hope everybody's doing well. See ya.